Welcome everybody to the penalty box. It is Monday. There are only four NHL games on tap tonight. I'm going to take apart two of them for you, but I also need to tell you guys that I have an NHL money line bet up for my clients tonight. I am 26 and 12 in these NHL money line bets since the start of the season. This is the first one since February 12th. Do not miss this play. Okay. Let's get into a couple of total bets. We're going over in both games. We're starting with the New York Islanders and Dallas. And although it was six, it is now six and a half. We did miss the best number, but I still think we get this game to seven or eight goals. We had a goaltender change. Scott Wedgwood is in. That is the reason why the line has moved so much. But when you look at this, we've got two stone cold over teams this year. The New York Islanders, which used to be an under team, have been playing way more aggressive uh, on the offensive side of things and are 31 and 23 to the over this year. Dallas is 36 and 23 to the over. And at home, this team is lights out to the over. When you look at this game, you look at the New York Islanders, uh, this team is really struggling to play defense, which is such a surprise, especially with Sorokin as their goaltender. They just allowed... Four goals in their last three games scored against them in each game. Tampa Bay put up four. St. Louis put up four. When Pittsburgh puts up four on you, you got issues. The New York Rangers put up six. This team can't stop anybody right now. And Dallas should have a total field day. Even though Dallas has only put up four goals combined in their last three games, this Dallas team can score, and especially at home. I mean, this Dallas team prior to that crappy three-game stretch put up 3-3-9-4-3-4. They're going to be able to get themselves some goals. I would not be surprised if we see a 4-3 game with an empty netter that ends 5-3. Both teams can score. Both teams have been struggling on defense of late, including Dallas. Although they only allowed Carolina to put up a one spot, Ottawa put up four, Rangers put up three, Boston put up four, Edmonton put up four. This team is not playing great defensively right now. Take over the total in the New York Islanders-Dallas Stars game. Now we're going to look at Boston and Seattle, and this line is five and a half, and I like the over in this game here as well. Bottom line here is five and a half. You know, if we can get to 3-2, have an empty netter to win this game, we'll take that but I don't think we're going to need it. I think we're going to get a 4-2 type of a game. When you look at Boston, they've also been struggling defensively of late. They've allowed 3-3-5-3-5-4-3-3 in their last eight games. Not one single game in their last eight have they allowed their bonus to score less than three goals. And they're also scoring. Although they only put up a two spot against Vancouver and Calgary, They put up six on Edmonton, four on Dallas, four on the LA Kings. This this Boston team can score goals. And when you look at Seattle, well, they just let Minnesota put up five. They just scored five on Vancouver. Five and a half is way too low. I think one of these teams can get to five themselves. Five-two game, as I said before, take over the total of Boston and Seattle. Guys, again, do not miss my NHL play today. Uh, It's been a while since I've had a Moneyline NHL bet, 26 and 12 on the season. You can find that play over at Wager Talk. Love you all. See you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.